Thank you for viewing the Title I Annual Meeting for Grand Ridge School. I am Michael Kiltz, the Director of Federal Programs, bringing you important information about Title I for the 2021-2022 school year. The agenda of this informational video will cover the 2021-2025 District Strategic Plan, information about Title I, information about standards and testing, updates to the Parent and Family Engagement Plan, the new Parents' Bill of Rights, and resources for you to use at home to support literacy. The 2021-2025 Approved Strategic Plan is available for review. Please access the district webpage at www.jcsb.org. You can review the progress made in 2022 on the amended plan. The Every Student Succeeds Act amended the Elementary and Secondary Education Act in December of 2015. The law aims to raise accountability by carefully measuring school progress every year, provide more financial flexibility by allowing federal money to be used to meet school or school district needs to ensure that every student has a high quality education, set goals to improve student performance in reading, math, science, and history, improve teacher effectiveness by providing funds for data-driven professional learning, and to make schools safer. This is how Title I works for Jackson County. The Florida Department of Education receives funds from the federal government. Districts receive Title I funds from the Department of Education, and the school district distributes these funds to schools based on the percentage of children eligible for free and reduced price lunch. However, students do not have to be from low-income families to receive help. Grand Ridge School is a school-wide program. This means that our Title I money can be used to upgrade the educational program in ways that may impact every student in the school. This also means that every parent or guardian of a student in our school is a Title I parent. The school set goals for improvement, measure student progress, using standards set forth in the state's Title I plan, develop programs that add to regular classroom instruction, and involve parents in all aspects of the program. To see visual data on the schools, district, and state performance, access edudata.fldoe.org under the Know Your Schools webpage. This interactive data portal will allow you to view data about demographics, school safety and climate, academic achievement, class size information, teacher and staff information, and financial data about Grand Ridge School. You will be able to compare Grand Ridge School to other schools in the district. Know Your Schools also provides the same data about the school district and the state as a whole. Students are taught educational standards for each subject. Florida is implementing benchmarks for excellent student thinking in English language arts and mathematics. Best standards identify what your child needs to know and be able to do in all content areas. This information can be found on Florida Department of Education's website under the Academics tab. Best standards form the framework for ELA and math, while history and science follow next generation Sunshine State standards. A reading textbook was adopted last school year, and a new math textbook was adopted this school year. To measure student success, the district uses state and local assessments during the school year. We would like you to refer to the assessment page of the District Parent Resource Guide calendar for a comprehensive list of assessments. You can also access this information on the district webpage. Title I funds are used to supplement the program at the school by providing funds which support the following types of activities. Additional teachers and paraprofessionals to create smaller classes, additional training for school staff, extra time for instruction like before and after school programs, parental involvement activities, and a variety of supplemental teaching methods and materials. Grand Ridge School has provided $153,476 to pay for services and programs for our students. Title I Part A funds provide Triumph Coach Books, Technology, Lexia, iReady, and Open Court. Who decides how funds are used? Every school has a school advisory council composed of parents, teachers, other staff, the principal, and in some cases, students. The school advisory council provides input on how to use Title I funds. Working together, we can improve our school.
Title I law requires that all Title I schools work together. The school level parent involvement policy, parent school compact, and school wide improvement plan describes how we work together to make our school better. The parent school compact is the shared effort of supporting student learning as part of the parent and family engagement plan. The compact lists school, family, and student promises and responsibilities to improve achievement and engagement. You should have received this at the beginning of the school year. The compact is discussed during parent and teacher conferences. The parent engagement policy requires the involvement of parents in a meaningful way in the development, implementation, and review of the parent engagement program. The district used parent survey results from the spring of 2022 to assist in the development of the 22-23 parent and family engagement plan. The parent engagement plan requires the school to convene an annual meeting to inform parents of Title I students of Title I requirements and their rights to be involved in the Title I program. Offer meetings at flexible times to maximize participation and provide services and trainings to parents. The parent engagement plan provides parents of Title I students with timely information about Title I programs. The plan answers questions like what works for you, how can we help, and what information do you need? The parent engagement plan assists parents in understanding academic content standards, assessments, and how to monitor and improve the achievement of their children. The Parent Bill of Rights provides parents and guardians the right to direct the education and care of their minor child. There is a detailed letter sent home at the beginning of the school year listing the rights of parents. Parents' rights under Title I Part A include as a parent, we request your involvement in regular meetings to express your opinions and concerns. Be provided information on your child's level of achievement on state assessments like the FSA in reading language arts, mathematics, science, and history. You have the right to request and receive information on the qualifications of your child's teacher and be informed if your child is taught by a non holly qualified teacher for four or more consecutive weeks. These are the additional rights you have as a parent under Title I Part A. You can assist in the development of plans, access training to help your child's performance, and for children in grades K through five, access to an annual parent-teacher conference. A parent's involvement in their child's education will lead to greater success. You are your child's first teacher. You have the ability to influence your child's education more than any teacher or school. You know your child the best. Please share information about your child's interests and abilities with the teacher and ask to see progress reports on your child and the school. These are some ways you can support your child's education. Share the love of learning. Read to your child. Ask your child to read to you. Limit screen time. Take advantage of the public library and the school media center. Show interest in your child's school day. Ask questions. Ask to see homework, praise their efforts, and encourage good study habits. Communication is extremely important. Parents are encouraged to communicate with their child's teachers. Please attend school events, visit the classroom, volunteer at the school, join parents' organizations, keep teachers informed, attend special parent trainings, attend parent-teacher conferences, be prepared for the meetings, Consider whether you have met the responsibilities as stated in the Parent School Compact and list your questions before the meeting. The Florida Department of Education's Just Read Florida's website has several resources to help with literacy at home. Please access the link in this slide for updated information about the best standards for grades pre-K through 8. The Just Take 20 Reading Initiative is available in the link provided in this slide. This initiative has been highlighted in the Parent Resource Guide calendar for three years and has a lot of information about how to help your child improve reading skills. The New World's Reading Initiative provides struggling readers with free books. A resource link is provided. Thank you for viewing this year's Title I Annual Meeting video. If you have questions or comments about the Title I program, you may email Michael Kiltz at michael.kiltz at jcsb.org.